Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on describing a 90 degree rotation centered at a point. Now I'd probably say this is the hardest of all the transformation type skills. But can we see that the shape A has rotated around some point to give B? So it looks like it's rotating clockwise. If I have my pen here and that was the center rotation and this pen end is pointing at the shape A, it's all rotating a bit to get to B around this point. Now, how do we identify what this center rotation is? Now, there is some clever way of doing it by constructing perpendicular bisectors and such, but I'm not gonna go through that method. We're just gonna sort of use a sort of trial and error type method. So let's just guess that the center rotation was around about here. Now, this sort of does look roughly right, because if I put my finger here as a center rotation, and this shape A was to rotate 90 degrees around clockwise, we can see it's roughly ending up in the right space if my finger was spinning like that. But let's check, and the way to check is that we take a point on the shape A, so let's take this right angle, this corner here, and then we look for the equivalent point on B. Now, can you see, this is the bottom left of the shape, and then you can see here, look, if the pointy bit is going right, pointy bit's going right, it's this equivalent point here then what you do is you draw lines from this point and the equivalent point on the other shape to your center rotation. Let's just use dotted lines and then dotted line here. Now, we then look at what that angle is. So what is this angle here? Well, this is not a right angle. You can see a right angle would be like that. This is less than 90 degrees, so it can't be the right point. They also have to be the same length, these two lines. And in fact, this one looks a bit longer than that. So that's not the right point. Let's try another point. Let's try the point zero, 01 here. Again, we draw lines from each of these crosses to our center rotation. So if we draw a line like that, and we draw a line like that from our cross to the center rotation. Now this does look kind of like 90 degrees. And the way we can check is, can you see that to get from here to here, that's two squares right and one square up? Whereas to get from here to here, it's two squares down and one across. And because it involves the same counts, the two and the one, but the opposite way around, so the two across becomes two down and the one up becomes one across, then we do know that is definitely a 90 degree rotation. So there we go. We can now describe it. It's a rotation. So we need to say it's rotation and not reflection or translation or whatever. Um, and we can say it's by 90 degrees clockwise because it's rotating a half spin 90 degrees and it's going in the direction of a clock, so clockwise. And then we need to say the center, about the center, and then read off the coordinate, put it in brackets. So that's the point zero, one, and that's the final answer.